Team of the Season is due to start on the 23rd of April and usually this is the most exciting time for FIFA players due to the fact that EA released massively, massively juiced cards into FIFA Ultimate Team. Promo event is due to last for a number of weeks featuring pack offers, new SBCs, new objectives and loads, loads more. However, not every player is prepared for Team of the Season. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to best prepare for Team of the Season by showing you how to get easy packs and how to make loads of coins for the new promo then. However, just before we get into this video, lads, if you do enjoy it, please do drop a like on it. And if you just enjoy the content that I'm doing on this channel at the minute, please do consider subscribing with notifications on. It's absolutely free to do. And honestly, it helps me out a lot more than you think the boys, honestly. And oh, whilst, whilst I remember, make sure to spam in Oosh. If you do want to buy yourself any FIFA 21 coins as well, boys, for Team of the Season, make sure to check out Mule Factory in the link in the description and use the code LE5CHEAP to get yourself a discount. They have been my sponsors for a very long time, the boys, and they have done very, very well sorting the boys out with some coins. So if you want to buy any, please do click the link in the description. However, let's jump into this video. So, let's. this is how the team is looking going into Team of the Season. To be honest, I am pretty happy with how it's looking at the minute. I do want to make some improvements, obviously, when Team of the Season comes. But, let's. if you don't know what Team of the Season is, it's basically a promo event to celebrate real life performances around the globe in FIFA. So say for example, there's players who've been performing well, they should potentially be getting themselves a team of the season card. To be honest, it's usually like the most exciting time in FIFA 21. I'm going to be completely honest with you boys, because basically at the minute, there's not a lot going on in FIFA. It's a pretty lull period. And what it does, it just gets everybody back into FIFA because the cards are honestly so, so good. So honestly, out of any promo event, I'd probably say it's the best promo event in FIFA 21. So Team of the Season is usually split into different teams as well. So the first one that we're going to be getting is going to be Team of the Season most consistent. After that, we're going to see a load of different teams. If you want all the information about Team of the Season, make sure to click up here and check out my Team of the Season leaked video. It'll show you everything that you need to know in terms of the dates and everything like that. But long story short, we got Community Voted Team of the Season to start off with. Then it's the Premier League, then La Liga, and it keeps going through all the leagues for pretty much every single week until around the 4th of June it should be this year. So in terms of prepping for team of the season, there's two things that you're going to need to do. You're going to go and need to get packs and you're going to need to make coins. So this first section of the video will show you how to get packs. Second section is going to show you how to make coins. So make sure to watch until the end. So the first little grind that you can start doing obviously is going to be the squad battles, div rivals and foot champions grind. Now admittedly, if you're wanting to open packs for the community team of the season, you need to get on this grind pretty quick. I can't lie. So you can play div rivals for this week and you can do it for next week as well obviously when this video goes out you need to get div rivals finished lewis look at yourself there lad in addition to that as well you do have another foot champions before the community voted team this season and you obviously have another squad battles as well and to be honest you probably can get two squad battles in but that's going to be the first little grind that you can do grind through all of them because the thing is with saving packs boys is you don't need to open them straight away you can get packs and open them at any point and you can get a team of the season card at any single point with that so if the base card is in that pack it will automatically be upgraded as a team of the season doesn't matter when you've got the packs as well you can open them at pretty much any point and definitely something that I'd recommend to do. Another way that you can go and get some packs at the minute as well is by completing the icon swap objectives. Now I know that a lot of you probably will have already completed these but if you're someone like me who hasn't even touched icon swaps so far you definitely can go and get on that grind for icon swaps. To be honest I would recommend to do as many of these ones right here as you can do because these are all in squad battles. By playing those squad battles games you will get some extra packs as well as and then with the tokens that you get from squad battles and any other areas as well you can then go and put them into the pack swaps from the squad building challenges. So if we just jump over to the squad building challenges and go over to swaps, you can see right here that I'm going to be doing the 83 times 25. In addition to that as well, if you've not done them already, you can also go and do the 81 times 25 and the 82 times 25 as well, just for a few extra packs for team of the season. With squad battles as well, you can do those objectives and there is a glitch for it. So again, click up here and it will show you a little glitch that you can use in squad battles. It's free real estate. Now, say for example that you've done all those options that I've spoken about, you might be thinking, well, sorry, I'm just going to go and put 12,000 FIFA points on, just see what I get. Now, please, please, 
don't do that. Please do not do that. If we jump over to the leagues tabs right here. Now, admittedly, some of the league SBCs are missing at the minute in the Premier League league and in a couple of different ones at the minute. However, once they return, you can definitely get on that league SBC grind again. Now, at the minute, there is actually one group of the league SBCs that I really, really like the look of, and that's the EFL Championship, mainly because the group reward for that is an 81 plus rare players seven pack which could get you something very, very nice. In addition to that as well, UEFA Champions League is a really, really good league SBC to complete for stacking packs. Likewise with the Serie A as well, but if you're sort of wanting to focus on any, I'd say Serie A, Champions League, and the EFL Championship, because they're the cheapest and probably the best pack rewards, so definitely an area that you can definitely take a look at. You've got some other ones in there as well if you do want to jump into those other ones like Liga Santander, but for me, for example, I've only completed four, and I think the last time I did it was around Team of the Year time, so maybe I'll go through with this grand but you will need coins for that but like I said do not worry I'll show you how to make coins as well another thing that I'd highly recommend to do as well going into team of the season is taking a look at the best value for coins SBCs in FIFA 21 now I'll leave a link to this in the description but what this page does it basically shows you the best value for coins SBCs that you can complete in FIFA 21 and again you can save these for team of the season so at the minute the best value for coins SBC that actually gives you a good chance of getting a team of the season is the Comabel Libertadores Brazilian SBC which is coming in at 9,000 coins which gives you a 45k pack and even if you click on this as well you will be able to get yourself direct prices for how much it costs on different days so you can basically work out when the best day to complete this is as you can see at the minute it is pretty high with people stacking packs for team of the season so make sure to do this ideally on like a rewards day or something like that in terms of making coins though for team of the season you want to be keeping it as simple as possible going into team of the season if you go onto the market at the minute and take a look at some of the higher tier stuff oh, it's an absolute minefield at the minute like for example Mbappe has dropped a good couple hundred thousand coins at the minute it, it, it's it, it's not good it's not good pretty much everybody is losing coins so what i'm actually going to do in the run-up to team of the season is do a trading to 1 million coin series from scratch with this being sort of the pilot video for it the first episode of which will be out tomorrow so make sure to come back tomorrow to check it out and if you want to watch it live link to my twitch in the description it's going to be all live on twitch well as much as it can be anyway so in terms of trading and stuff like that <laughs> I don't really recommend sniping filters or sniping individual players and stuff like that but I sort of do going into team of the season because it can go so expensive. So for example, a couple of different players went really, really high over team of the season last year. Now you're mainly looking for cards who are a good league, good nation and in scarce positions because they usually go the highest as a result of the daily SBCs or say for example, we get an SBC that requires high chemistry that could give a good pack. Anything that sort of gets people closer to getting a team of the season, that goes up in price. So one little way that you could probably make some nice coins going into team of the season is just by using really really just just common sniping filters like gold rare english from the premier league and monitoring these prices now the best thing to do in my opinion is to pick up these during heavy heavy supply think rewards day think lightning rounds think squad battle rewards or any other kind of pack supply promo packs or any daily sbc and then waiting and just seeing if they go up the tiniest bit higher like chillwell for example always fluctuates as a result of different SBCs and you can make up your own filter so the main thing that you need to be looking for is something that could potentially push up player prices as a result of a different SBC so you can do the same with right backs or English from the Premier League I'm literally just riffing these off the top of my head and again you go over to Ligue 1 you go over to French and you want to go and take a look at the gold rare French right backs they're pretty sparse I'm not going to lie from Ligue 1 it's just Lala who you've got so are you getting what I'm saying when the supply pick up when there's demand, you can either sell on in the run-up to team of the season or keep them in your clubs. Because one thing that you definitely need to not forget about is the fact that we are going to be getting league-specific upgrade SBCs. And they're some of the best packs that you can be opening all the team of the season. So take a look at Gold Bros. Start monitoring their price at the minute. These are chilling at the minute around 900 coins, as you can see right here. However, with rewards there, these are going to drop back down to 750 coins. If we get a promo event in the run-up to team of the season, they're going to drop down again. You can also go and take a look at your discount discard informs in the run up to that don't say anything nothing in the comments about them i don't want to hear about it but with discard informs try and learn from my mistakes good leagues good nations higher rating is better 82 around that range is absolutely perfect for discard informs pick them up keep them in your club and then just sell them on when they go a bit in price you're mainly looking for those who are supplied from the current team of the week and we are going to be getting a new team of the week today so make sure to look out for any 81s 82s or close to discard price from now until team of the season because all the team of the season 
they'll go really, really high. Also, you have got the goal commons, which I did mention in yesterday's video. I'm not going to go into them too much, but goal commons, centre backs, left backs, right backs, again, scarce positions, popular nations, Argentina, England, France, Italy, Spain, they're all really good to do. These fluctuate on that low, low price of around 500 coins on rewards day or when we get mass supply and they go back up to 850 coins, 900 coins, or you can keep them in the club and they may even go even higher. But let's, I think that's where I'm going to be wrapping up this video. I think we've been through quite a bit. How to get packs, how to make coins and what I'm going to be doing. Like I said, I'm going to be starting that trading from scratch series again, sort of going into team of the season. So if you are up for that, please do let me know down in the comment section. But like I said, that's where I'm going to be wrapping this video up. Make sure to come and check me out on Twitch later on today. But Leds is 26. Lewis, this has been how to prepare for team of the season. The last sort of video before the trading from scratch series. So hope you guys did enjoy it. But 26, Lewis, and I am off. Goodbye.